Zizi here. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope you are keeping safe and taking good care of yourselves and everyone else. All around. right, so in today's maths lesson, we'll be dealing with word problems, but more specifically, addition word problems. So you know that sometimes we don't just get regular number sums. Sometimes the math is presented to us in the form of a word problem, and we need to figure out what we have to do. Now, there are special words that I feel we need to know that will help us to identify when we are working with an addition word problem. Now, these words would include in all, all, another, altogether, together, both, added to, total, some, combined, additional, more than and increased by. So now you know that if you come across any of those special words in a word problem, you know you're dealing with addition an addition word problem. Not subtraction, not division, an addition word problem. Okay, so now let's have a look at our first word problem. And our first word problem reads, there are 12 boys and 14 girls in Mrs. Nguenya's classroom. How many children are in the classroom all together? Now, before we work on our word problem, we need to identify what kind of a word problem is this. Is it a division word problem? Is it a subtraction word problem? Is it a multiplication word problem? Or is it an addition word problem? Now, when we look at our word problem, we can see that one of the special words that I had mentioned earlier on has been used in this word problem. And that word is all together. Now, the word all together Thus helps us to identify this word problem as an addition word problem. So the highlighted word altogether has helped us to identify this word problem as an addition word problem. Now we need to highlight the two numbers that we need to add together in order for us to find our final answer. And these two numbers are 12 and... 14. These are the two numbers that we need to add together in order for us to find our final okay, answer. Okay, so now we're going to take our two numbers, which are the number 12 and 14, and we're going to add them together. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 1 plus 1 equals tw um, 2. Therefore, our final answer, sorry, therefore, our final answer will be that all together there are 26 children in the classroom. Full stop. So now we have shown our sum where we say 12 plus 14, which gives us 26. And we have then answered our word problem by saying, all together, there are 26 children in the classroom. Okay, so for our next word problem, our word problem reads, the animal shelter has 32 dogs, 11 cats, and four rabbits. What is the total number 
of animals at the shelter. Now, like the previous word problem, we first have to identify what kind of a word problem is this. Is it a division word problem? Is it a multiplication word problem? Is it a subtraction word problem? Or is it a addition word problem? Now, I have identified one of the special words we had mentioned earlier on, and that special word is total. Now, the word total helps us to identify this word problem as a addition okay, word Okay, so problem. now we're going to take these three numbers and add them together. It will be 32 plus... 11 plus 4. 2 plus 1 plus 4 equals 7. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Therefore, there is a total number Sorry. of 47 animals at the shelter. So we've written out our sum, 32 plus 11 plus 4, which gives us 47. And we've answered our word problem by saying, therefore, there is a total number of 47 animals at the shelter. Alrighty, now it is your turn to do these word problems. So I'm going to need you guys to grab a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper so that you can copy the word problems that are going to appear in on the screen shortly you're going to work on these word problems on your own yes yes miss mzizi is giving you homework <laughs> and if there are any questions that you guys have please leave them in the comment section down below and i will answer them in the next video we will then go through the answers all together as a class really enjoyed the video and have learned a thing or two from today's lesson remember if there are any questions don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video and click that notification button so that you are immediately notified when i post the next video from me miss mzizi 